So today I'm barefaced, I have my makeup bag with me, you know what that means. I'm doing a makeup tutorial and today I'm doing one that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. I've been waiting for autumn to come around so that I could do an autumn makeup tutorial and the time is finally here people, I'm really excited. I've got my little Fleur de Force makeup bag as well. Plug, 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 plug. So today's makeup look is going to be a kind of very dark berry lip and a kind of coppery rose gold eye. I was gonna do gold and then I was like, nope, let's go rose gold. This will be slightly different. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to this. I just need all of the dark lip colors in my life right now. Before I start actually putting any makeup on my face, I just want you guys to know that there is drilling and banging and stuff going on in between me doing the talking. So um, yeah, I'm not sure how much talking I'll be doing through this, but I'm in quite a chatty mood, so hopefully a lot. I just wanted you to know that. And also my blog has had a little redesign, so I'm gonna link it in the info box. And if you like reading blogs or just looking at nice pictures, um, you might like that. So uh, go check that out. It looks all pretty now. I'm gonna get started with my base, which is gonna be the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I don't wanna bore you with this, but basically I don't match any of my BB creams right now because my skin is slightly more tanned. So I've got the shade five in this. I luckily just ended up with a really dark shade the first time I was sent this, uh, which has been really, really good for me because <laughs> I've just used this every time I've gone on holiday. I have shade three as well, so I can mix the two together, which is amazing. But this is just one of my favorite bases and I really like a light base for autumn. I like a heavy coverage one as well, but for daily wear, I just like a lightweight base in general and this is one of my all-time favorites so I'm just gonna squeeze that onto the back of my hand I don't know if you can see me doing any squeezing there there we go and then I'm just dotting that on my face with the Sephora Pro airbrush foundation brush which you guys know is one of my favorites I'm actually feeling like this is still a bit too pale for my face but um yeah just gonna have to roll with this because don't have anything darker. And for concealer, I'm gonna be using the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, something like that. I haven't used this in so long, I've almost forgotten what it's called. And I'm using the shade Custard because uh, vanilla is way too light for me at the moment. So I'm just dotting that under my eyes and around my nose, which is really red and sore at the moment because I've had a cold for ages. It just won't leave. And I'm just blending that in with a Sephora Pro small stippling brush. And then I'm just going over that with a little bit of the Estee Lauder Brush and Glow BB Highlighter just to brighten things up a little bit. So now I'm moving on to eyes and I'm going to be using a palette from The Balm and this is their Nude Dude palette. It's got little nude dudes in it, which is pretty cool. They've got um, another one of these with girls as well. Um, Interesting concept for a palette. I think these are really cute. Um, and there are two shades in this that I want to use, which are Faithful and Fit. Um, and they're basically beautiful kind of coppery, goldy, rose gold colors. And I think they're so, so pretty. So I'm just taking a Zoeva Luxe Soft Definer brush and dabbing that in the shade Faithful, which is more of a goldy color. And then just applying that all over my eyelid. And I'm just doing the same thing with the shade Fit. Um, but kind of leaving a tiny bit of the inner corner of my eye. And now I'm taking a short shader brush from Sigma. That's a bit of a tongue twister. And I'm just gonna intensify the kind of rose goldy color um, kind of on the middle and outer part of my eyelid. And for the outer corner and crease, I'm actually just going to be taking the lighter part of my hourglass bronzer and just blending that in because it will really help to warm this up. Now that that's done, I'm just adding a little bit of coal liner to the top of my eyelid and just smoking it out a little bit. So eyeshadow is all done and now I'm going to add some mascara. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Full Slash Telescopic Mascara. I really, really like this one. I've liked it for a really long time. Really, 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 really need to stop saying really. I find it works best when you wiggle it through the lengths of your lashes. It just helps to lengthen them, but also give them a lot of volume as well. Only problem is when I'm wiggling, I make a really derpy face like a fish. So my lashes are done and I'm definitely feeling super bug-eyed right now. That mascara just makes them look so, so big. It's amazing. But now I'm gonna sort out the eyebrow situation because although I'm quite happy with the size of my eyebrows, they tend to look a bit gray. 
Um, and it just doesn't really work when you've got really bold black mascara and just really defined eyes. So I'm just going to run some brow product through them just to kind of darken them up a little bit. Not necessarily to make them too much fuller, although I do kind of do that on the underside as well because it's a bit uneven. And for that I just use my usual Soap and Glory Brow Archery Pencil in the shade Hot Chocolate. Hot, hot Chocolate? <laughs> That was meant to be hot chocolate. I can't speak today, I apologise. I'm still so sick and bunged up and it's just gross. Trying to film makeup tutorials when you need to blow your nose constantly is one of the worst things ever. I <laughs> over exaggeration, but it sucks, basically. I'm just neatening up the underside of my brow and then kind of working on the top part as well just to thicken it up a little bit because I've got a lot of sparse hairs on the top of my brows. And that's that's pretty much it. So I think I'm going to leave my brows there and just run a bit of the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper through them. I'm not looking to go particularly heavy on my brows today because I'm going for such a bold lip. So now we're moving on to my all-time favourite part of putting on makeup, bronzer. Would you have guessed that's my favourite part? I just find that bronzing completely changes the way my face looks. I always add a little bit to kind of my nose and I just find that that really helps. It makes me look a little bit more sun-kissed and glowing and healthy and it's not even that I contour with bronzer, I just find that it really changes the shape and depth of my face and I love it. So I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer and I'm just taking the lighter half of it on my NARS Yachio Kabuki brush and just kind of swirling that on my cheeks and temples and neck and pretty much everywhere. And this is an especially important bit of my makeup routine at the moment because I am actually quite tanned underneath the BB cream but all of my kind of foundations and BB creams are just too pale for me at the moment. So bronzing is a super important part of my makeup routine because it takes me back to the level of bronzedness that I actually am currently. My face is bronzed, I'm feeling much more me right now. And now I'm gonna contour. I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Complexion Brush. I'm pretty sure this isn't meant to be used for contouring, but I absolutely love it. It just fits perfectly in my cheekbones. I'm using the Lorac uh, Contour Palette, which I'm just obsessed with. I didn't really like contouring that much until I started using this, and now I just can't not contour every day. So I literally just dab this in a couple of times. I don't get that much product on the brush at all. Tap it off on the back of my hand because it is so pigmented. And then I just kind of run that through my cheekbones. I'm quite lucky I can see my cheekbones. Um, I know some people can't, but it's quite easy for me to find mine, but if not, fish face always works. I always find this side harder because I am not left-handed. So I have to use my right hand and it's all awkward and yeah. Sometimes, like right now, I go a little bit overboard with the contour. It probably looks great on camera, but um, I'm just gonna take my foundation brush and kind of just uh, calm that down a little bit because it's looking a bit crazy. Moving on, I'm going to leave contouring alone for a bit because I tend to go a bit crazy with it, but that's just, I like, I, I just like doing that. But anyway, moving on to highlighter and I'm going to be using the Mary Luminizer from The Balm. Um, I have not tried this before, so this is kind of a first impressions. I wanted to use it because um, my friend Alex always, always, always uses this and she loves it. So I'm going to give it a go and I'm going to be using a Sigma tapered highlighting brush. Got sent a few of these Sigma brushes the other day and I really like them, they're all pretty and rose goldy. I'm just dabbing that in the pan and I'm gonna tap a bit off because that looks like a crazy amount of highlighter. And then I'm just gonna run that over my cheekbones. That is a pretty intense highlighter right there. But overall that is super pretty. Alex always recommends good highlighters, I'll link her channel below. Um, I don't think I've ever tried a highlighter she's recommended that I haven't liked. Thumbs up for that one. Now I'm going to move on to lips, which is kind of like the finishing part of this makeup look. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a lipstick from Illamasqua, which is this one here, but I also thought I'd give you a couple of other kind of autumnal berry lip colours um, that are kind of more affordable as some other options. So I've got the Topshop uh, Matte Lip Bullet in the shade Get Me Bodied. Yep. That one, haven't actually used that in like a year. Really looking forward to cracking that out over autumn. And then there's also the Maybelline Colour Drama, which is very much more of a purple, but still 
really really amazing and this is in the shade very much and that's super super cute but I'm going to be using this kind of berry toned Illamasqua lipstick I can never remember what it's called so I will put all the info for it in the description box below but this is such a beautiful lipstick the only thing is I find it quite hard to apply it is super creamy and really lovely but I just don't find that I can get a kind of really precise line around my lips and I find that things can kind of look a bit smudgy in places so I'm going to just line my lips first with the Topshop lip liner and this is in the shade Deception this is really old so there may be a new replacement for it in the Topshop range now but it's basically a really gorgeous kind of purpley berry toned lip liner so I'm just going to line my lips with this first and then apply the Illamasqua lipstick straight over the top from the bullet so that is the finished look it's super vampy perfect for autumn I love the shade of this lipstick so much it's super dark I think it's the darkest one I own but there's just something about it that goes really nicely with my skin tone but I also think it will work really nicely on darker skin tones and super pale skin tones so I think it's a really nice all-rounder for autumn and definitely a nice one if you've got Halloween coming up and you want to kind of have the courage to rock a really dark lip but you wouldn't on a daily basis. I also think the addition of the kind of copper rose gold eye is a really nice one as well. Normally you see things like this that are done with kind of gold makeup eye looks or silver but I think the rose gold is a really nice kind of touch. It's slightly different and a little bit more minimalist so you don't really end up feeling like you're wearing too much makeup and yeah I just love this so much. I think it might be one of my favourite looks I have ever done but that is it from me today. I'm going to stop rambling and leave you to get on with your day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Choking on my own spit. Oh, lovely, lovely.